speaking of, of producing, you hit me, I remember, right before Drake dropped his album and said, hey, man, I think I got a song with Jay-Z and Drake. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Don't tell nobody, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I got a song with, with Drake and Jay-Z. Yeah. I, I didn't tell anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure enough, sure enough, a couple of days later, Talk Up yeah. comes out. Um, how did that come together? Man, it was so weird. Um, I was in Nashville producing uh, Yellow Wolf's album. I just produced his album, uh, uh, a lot of his album, uh, uh, Trunk Music 3. And I had just got to uh, Nashville, and it was like 3 in the morning, and I was still on West Coast time, so it was like 1 to me. So I couldn't sleep. I was just laying in the bed, and my, my phone went off. It was a direct message on Instagram. And... Um, they say called me, and I was looking at it, it was Drake. And I had to make sure it was really him. I was like, I don't know if it's really Drake. Because his name is Champagne Poppy on there. And I knew that, everybody knows that. But I still wanted to make sure. So I clicked on it, and I was like, okay. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think at that time he only had 4 million followers. If I'm not mistaken, I think it said 3.8. And I'm like, okay, well, that, it is obviously Drake. Mm -hmm. If you look on there now, I think it's like 60. <laughs> right. But, um... I looked on there and I was like, okay, shit. And I called him. I was like, what's up, bro? Because we've been knowing each other forever. Mm -hmm. But we never uh, talked on the phone, really. So I called him. I was like, what's up, bro? And he's like, he's like, hey, I'm finishing up my album. I need some, uh, I'm looking for some beats. He's like, but I need something like now. And I was like, holy shit. So uh, I got straight out of bed, pulled out my drum machine and uh, my laptop, and I started working on some stuff. But then I was like, you know what, fuck that. I was like, I got a beat that's for sure a banger in my phone right now that was going to be my new single hmm. for the first, you know, uh, DJ Paul comeback song. Not comeback song, but my n new song that I would do this year. Mm -hmm. And um, I just texted it to him. And he said, I'm going to use this. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, well, you can have that motherfucker because you can do way more for it than me. <laughs> And uh, he used it, and he used it just like that. Left it up. Uh, I had told him, I was like, dude, I was like, uh, I said, dude, I was like, I was like, uh, bro, I was like, man, just make sure you uh, like leave a tag or something at the beginning. And like, I got you, I got you. He left that mother through the whole song. <laughs> <laughs> he left it through the whole song, like, yes. So, but uh, so you didn't even send him like a multi-track version. You just sent. Him I a... sent him the multi-track eventually, but I, uh, you know, like a couple of days later, or whatever. Okay. He was. They didn't even want it. They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they use the, the but the funny part about version. it is after Drake put that out, other people that I've been producing, other big artists I've been producing since then, they've been doing the same thing. They said, man, we want to leave tag in there just like that. Hmm. And they just leave my B tag all the way through it. <laughs> okay, because I guess you sampled uh, NWA, Dope Man? Yeah. That, that was the the Mexican dude in the beginning, or you redid that part? Redid that. That's me talking. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, me and uh, some of my homies, but... uh. How I, how it really really happened is I'm uh, neighbors with Drake's mom, mm -hmm. and Drake's mom, me and Drake's mom met, and she told him she met. She said I met this really nice guy named DJ Paul and this and that, and that's what put him, put me on his mind. Cause even though he know me and we know each other and he know I do beats, but you know the old saying like out of sight, out of mind, you know. And it's just like you at the last minute in the studio, and you know you ain't you you probably just like you and I'm. Probably ain't gonna just think to call me. You'll be thinking about something else. There's many things he'll mm -hmm. be thinking about. And uh, his mama put me on his mind, I guess. And he hit me up. Okay, so he records over the song, which is, you know, amazing in and of itself. Uh huh. But then Jay Z jumps on it. Yeah, he called me, so I hit him. This is this the real funny part. Uh, he, he was so busy working on the album, so I hadn't heard from him. He told me he was gonna use it. And he told me to, you know, put that talking in the beginning and this and that. And I went and read that, that. And then I just went on about my life, started doing all, working on music and doing other stuff. And one day I just went on and hit him up, maybe like two weeks later. I don't even think it was two weeks. Cause I think the album came out like probably two weeks later. I probably hit him like a week later. And I was like, um, I was like, hey man, you gonna use that beat still? You gonna put that, that's still gonna make the album? They're like, yeah, I put Jay-Z on it. I'm like, hold on now, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> I looked up, like, you did what? I was like, holy shit. I was like, cool. So, but yeah, you wouldn't no. actually even 
play for you at that point or nothing, huh? I know. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it until it came out. They got tight security over there at OVO. You don't hear, like, Drake's album leaks early. You don't hear that type of shit over there. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Actually got armed security, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Navy SEALs surrounding yeah, that project. Exactly. Man, how did it feel to have a song you produced for Drake and Jay-Z? Man, it felt amazing, man. It was, it was it was crazy. Like, I couldn't even believe it. You know, it was a good thing. Because I had been wanting to do something with Drake for the longest. I had been wanting, but you know, it's all about timing. So uh, that, was the, that, was a, that was the right timing right there. And I knew it would happen one day because Drake always told me how much a, a fan of ours he was. You know, it's like even pictures of him. Uh, somebody else interviewed him. He was like holding up our first album on vinyl and uh, talking about the album. So... I figured it would happen one day. Well, I guess you know his dad. I know his dad. I hang out with his dad a lot. We got the, my we got the same lawyer, or at least so my lawyer is good friends with him. I'm sure they do some work. We okay. hang out a lot. And you've actually recorded with him? Not yet. Not we yet. We wrote a, we wrote a song just shooting a bull one day in a bar, at a party rather, not at a bar, at a party, and uh, for our lawyer. And I was just come up with ideas, and I was like, man, we got to record this, and I put it in my phone. We put some vocals in a memo on my phone, but we haven't laid none yet. 